Hey guys, welcome to this video. This is John Watts. I want to talk to you about cross-examination and direct examination. And also, kind of related to this is a leading question or not doing a leading question. So typically a direct examination is where we call the witness first and then we're questioning them. And then the other side comes in and they cross-examine. And you know, flip it around. If we've seen a trucking company, a trucking company calls a witness, then that's a direct examination, and then we would cross-examine. Now, it can get a little confusing because sometimes we may call, uh, like our very first witness may be the defense of what's called corporate representative. So that's direct examination, but we can use leading questions. So uh, we'll, we'll cover that in another video. But basically, direct examination you do not use leading questions. Cross-examination, you do. So what's a leading question? And what's a non-leading question? Well, a non-leading question will be a question that does not suggest the answer. So let's take that truck wreck, for example. And I ask my client, you know, what color was the light? As you were going through the intersection, what color was the light? Well, I'm not suggesting it was green or yellow or red or flashing or anything. I'm just saying, what color was it? Now, if I'm cross-examining the truck driver or the corporate representative for the trucking company, I might say, as my client was going through that, my client had a green light, right? So I'm suggesting the answer, and really what they have to do is say yes or no. But when you are doing a non-leading question, it's more open-ended. So again, you might say, well, how fast was the truck driver going? Okay, so I don't say, now that truck driver was going 75 miles an hour and a 30 mile an hour, I can't do that with my own witness. Okay, so I ask a simple question and frankly, it's more effective with the jury when you do this. You just let the client be the star of that. Now, in cross-examination, the lawyer is the focus. So we're, we're basically testifying to the jury. We just need the other side to say yes or no to the question. But if I'm, again, cross-examining the truck driver, the corporate representative of the trucking company, I might say, now you know the speed limit in that area was 35 miles an hour, right? Well, they gotta say yes or no, or I don't know, okay? And I say, and you were going 75 miles an hour, right? And sometimes what people will say is, you were going 75 miles an hour, is that correct? You know, and you can be sort of more formal with it. I tend to be more sort of, I guess, casual or, or conversational and just say, you were going 75. And sometimes I just say it like that. And, you know, if the lawyer goes, well, I don't hear a question in there. I'll kind of look at the jury and go, you were going 75? <laughs> you know, sort of make the voice go up at the end. And so the basic idea is direct examination. Normally, you do not lead your witness cross-examination you do. So you suggest the answer and you just want a yes or no out of that witness that you are cross-examining. So hope that that's helpful. We'll do more videos on trials and uh, you know what's an opening statement, closing argument, picking a jury, all that type of stuff uh, because I've gotten some requests for that and I think there's some interest in it. And uh, if you like this type of video, definitely let me know in the comments and feel free to subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye-bye.